So first things first, you will want to, since I already installed the system inside here, I'm just going to show you step by step what I did so that way you will be able to do exactly the same thing. Um, this Samhari has been through a lot. As you can see, I've had it in the past installation videos and it's, it's, uh, it's a prototyping instrument and it's still holding up pretty well. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is take off the thumb wheels to take off the main grill. And I've already, I already did that. So let's go ahead and take off this main, um, this main grill. And let me just keep everything here so you could see the placement and where everything goes. So just like with the previous system with the M1, um, the actual um, the actual treble board goes right on the back side here. And it will come with um, double sticky tape for you just to, it's ready to get peeled off. It's gonna, uh, on the 7HD there's just gonna be one big piece and on the 11HD there's gonna be two pieces. And all you gotta do is just take them off um, just like so, just peel off this right here um, and basically stick it on there just like that. Now this double sticky tape that, uh, double sided tape that's included is, um, it provides dampening and very strong adhesion. Um, but you are welcome to use your own uh, type of double sticky tape that um, if, if you have a preference on a stronger one or a lighter one. Uh, but really the one we provide is, is tested and it's, it's, it's good to go. Um, once you have it in here, another very important thing to always look out for is will the keys, will these keys right here hit the microphone? Will it hit any of the volume pieces or the on and off switch that's in here or the jack? So these are the things we're going to have to kind of uh, place and see um, whether or not it's touching anything. Just off the off hand, I can tell that like for instance, we're not touching anything here and you can hear it if you just tap on these you'll be able to hear if it's hitting anything. Luckily in this cable right here is super thin and you can kind of position it however you want. But the main thing what you want to do is to allow for this this here disconnect. Hopefully you can see this here. Yep. Um, this here disconnect that's going inside to the bellows, you want it uh, made accessible if and when you want to work on the accordion and you don't want to accidentally pull these things in and out. You want to be able to have a controlled disconnect and then you'll be able to take this off just like that. And then the same thing, you want to uh, be able to easily, you know, reconnect them uh, when you're done uh, fixing uh, the accordion and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and secure this wire a little bit better with adding some tape and I'm using uh, clear tape. Uh, it's kind of, it's more like serious tape here. It's got those streaks in it. Um, it holds a little bit better than just uh, clear tape. Um, but this is what we use and it, and it works pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and basically secure these wires down and I'm gonna go ahead and put another piece of tape that I've prepared right here. Let's go ahead and place it like so. There we go. And just for meanwhile, I will place it here and I'm gonna test to see if anything is getting in the way. No? Sounds good. Nothing is hitting. I don't hear the, the wire being hit or anything like that. Um, so basically we're on point and I'm just going to add a little bit more tape to here to kind of have it go around here. Add a little bit more tape and then this part is going to be finished. Um, basically it should look like this. You can, however, move around this microphone just a little bit to find the optimal spot, but really you want to have it, as you can see, you want to have it over or 
on the side over here where the keys are uh, kind of further away from the keys. Okay. So that concludes the top installation. Let's go ahead and move to what happens with this wire and how to get this wire inside there. All right, now that the hole has been made to get to the bellows, we are gonna go ahead and add a little bit of candle wax to cover up the hole that is made over here. Um, yeah, all I used was some candle wax. What you, what you could use is actually some silicon, um, uh, and it's, it's a little bit better. But for, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it up with, with, some, uh, with some candle wax. Um, so let's go ahead and get inside this accordion and see what we need to do on the other side once the, the hole is made. And we can go ahead and get inside it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay. So as you could see, on this side, we have the cable coming through to this uh, interme uh, intermediate connector. Okay and then we go to the bellows cable okay and it's pretty straightforward there's a uh, double-sided tape here that holds uh, the connection and then if you could see in here oh I just pulled it out so I could set it down actually I'll do it like this so the bellows cable is the longest cable in the system and this cable is um, definitely long enough to uh, get your entire accordion, your entire bellows covered. And the way that it goes inside, it zigzags very naturally on top of the bellows. So they don't go inside the bellows in there. It rides next to the bellows on top of the bellows. And what I do is I fold the tape over this. Um, I'll give you, give you an example. This is kind of like a, a bigger so piece. We have a piece of tape just like this. And I'll give you an example of exactly how I did it. So basically what I did was I took I placed it here I bent it there and um, one of the sides of the cable one of the sides of the tape goes inside like so then I fold it over just like this and then as you right there so as you could see as the bellows come in and out just like this and this is the bottom of your accordion this is also very important to remember you want to be on the bottom side and I always mark on here if this is front top so if I disassemble everything I know exactly how to put it back because these are most of these accordions are handmade and you want to make sure that it fits just right um, so with, with that being said the internal bellows wires just zigzags just like that and you use the tape just like I showed you to put it every three or four folds and making sure that on the other side and you could actually do this it's a lot easier to do this when you take the whole uh, thing of bellows um, out just like this it will definitely help you get in there much quicker and as it goes through the bellows, the wire, this really thin wire, gets detached right here 
and it goes through to the bass and chord section. And let me go ahead and detach this one and show you a much closer look. There's a connector right there. So the whole system, as you can tell, takes it, it comes apart so you can work, uh, so the technician can work on any part of the accordion um, so they can get to the bellows, so they can get to the reeds, so they can fix anything or do maintenance on it. That's why uh, the system, uh, it disattaches at every single stage. Um, so over here, there's another hole, just like you saw earlier, you're going to need to make another hole, a flat hole. I actually had a round hole here already, so I just went ahead and used that hole here. But I did fill it right afterwards with a little bit of, of, of uh, candle wax. Um, same type of wax that's actually here. Um, I don't think it's candle wax, it's a different type of wax. But um, actually silicone works really well to cover up the holes, specifically for the air, because it's, it's viscous and with temperature and humidity and everything, it'll move back and forth with the wood. So I found that um, using silicone on permanent installations is much, much more long lasting. The one thing is to remember not to play your accordion after you, you applied your silicone on there, uh, silicone on there, uh, because when it's wet and you start playing it, it'll just pop out um, and the hole is gonna be, uh, again, a hole. So if you'll do that, they'll be great. So in this wire, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what happens when you uh, dive through with this wire to the other side. Um, now over here, let's go ahead and take off this belt. Am I tightening it? Okay. All right. Now ready to go. All right. So as we get the wire through the bellows into the deck of the bass and chords. It goes through here. I already had a hole here, so I just used that existing hole from um, a previous installation video, but you can use the same technique that I showed be, uh, previously just by making a slit this way, or in this case, you could go this way or that way, but this way, you know, it's very elegant. It just dives right in and goes through to the other side. Um, also, just a quick note, here I used a little bit of, of, of wax to cover this up, but I do recommend using silicone, um, caulking silicone, and uh, applying it and waiting for it to really dry. And in a permanent installation, that's exactly what I do. This is a prototype uh, accordion that I, you know, we show all of our installations on, but um, what you wanna do is actually put a little bit of silicone on this side and on the, on the other side. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. Let me see if you can see here with the light. You see okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first thing that you get two is that cable will go right into the microphone. So you want to situate this microphone right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and situate it on this side right here. Okay. And the microphone is pointing bottom up. So it's pointing that way. Um, that way. Okay. As you can see it, it's, it's in there. Actually much better location over there. You don't want to have it too close to the corner, but you want to have it accessible as well. So I'm going to have it just like that pointing down or from down to up because it's actually, you're going to end up, you're, you're holding, sorry, a little bit confused right now. Okay. You're holding it like this. Okay. So the microphone is going to be pointing upwards just like this. So the next thing after the microphone that comes up is the regulator board that's over here and to the battery uh, connection. So I'm going to go ahead and situate that in there as well. And you want to have this guy somewhere close by over here. So I'm going to, I'm going to place it over here just for now and hide this cable in there. Now we're going to go ahead and hide the cables in a second. Now what we want to do, and I'm using double sticky, uh, double sided tape to connect the regulator and the microphone to the boards. Um, you could use a little bit of uh, epoxy or super glue to add to the double sided stick tape to make sure that they don't go anywhere. But just for now, I'm showing you that the microphone is going to be pointing this way and the regulator board, you want it somewhere close by so that when you put the cover on this, let me make sure you see what I'm doing here. When you put the cover on, just like that, 
okay? This cable right here is going to be right there so you can connect the battery and, and hide everything um, inside here and you can access the battery anytime before a gig or anytime you need to switch it out. Um, but let's go ahead, let me, let me show you. Basically, I mean, we're, we're basically done. So now all I wanna do is make sure everything is in there uh, on a permanent basis. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some tape to kind of hold all the wires and everything together and connect this through this. Um, and that's about it, I'm gonna... Okay, so I went ahead and I put everything back together. The microphone is sitting comfortably inside here, pointing that way. The regulator board is there, the battery is there, it's all connected, um, it's all ready to go. Um, so let's go ahead and reconnect the entire system and assemble the accordion. Um, and here's how, here's how I'm doing it. Here's a trick, by the way, uh, with these cables. What I try to do is instead of bending it like this and pushing it from this side inside the actual connector, what I do is I actually peel off a little bit of this blue uh, tape right here and I bend it upwards just a little bit. So that way I have a little bit of room to push in holding it this way. I basically... Show them the peeled up tape. Just, oh okay, sure. Your hands are blocking the view of it. Alright. See I peeled this blue tape up, the blue plastic piece up, just a little bit. So now I'm holding it like this, you know, and now it, it's in there really well. One of the things that I, that I like to do here is add a little bit of tape uh, right over the connector. You don't have to do this uh, if you are 100% sure that it's not going to get pulled or anything like that. Um, I add just a little bit of tape right over the connectors, just like that, okay? So we know for sure that it is connected, okay? So let's go ahead and put the bellows back on, just like this, okay? And make sure that there's no cord that's kinked inside the bellows, everything is good. Um, I'm gonna put just a few of these on there just to speed things up. And another good thing is that I know that this is, um, I labeled it, this is the top, this is the front, um, and that's very important to get that right. Get this guy. Okay. Um, with this one, all I'm doing, I'm going to do the same thing where I have this bent upwards. I'm going to go ahead and place that thing here. I'm going to throw down a little piece of tape um, over that whole connector. just to make sure like this make sure that it's all about connections and making sure that those connections are secure solid if you have to use a little drop of glue that's fine but the you know I use this tape and just make sure that it's really really on there okay so now we have that guy connected that's coming through and the last piece to the puzzle is connecting this guy to here. And the way that we're going to do it is just plug it right in, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and add another little piece of tape here. Um, definitely take your time and make sure everything is situated. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add another piece right here okay let's make sure it's tucked away right in there like so okay and now you just got to add these two connectors over here the two thumb wheels and that will basically conclude your installation um, what you can do now is turn it on and off right here um, there's the output jack, and you're basically ready for testing. Thank you for watching.